Welcome to Workplace English Lesson 45, Find Websites for Learning English. My name is Karen. In this video, I will show you six free websites you can use on your phone or on a computer to practice English. First, you need to open a browser. A browser is also called a search page. Search means look for something. A browser helps you look for websites. Here are three browsers, Firefox, Google Chrome, and Internet Explorer. You should have one of these on your computer or smartphone. Click on one to search for a website. I'll show you on the next slide. Hi, here's my phone. You can see I have Chrome on my phone. If I tap it, it takes me to a page where I can type in the website name or address. Then it will search for that website. This is what the search page on Google Chrome looks like. You can type the website name or address here on the top after the G or down here where it says search. You only need to type it in one place. Do you want to practice listening and speaking in English? Try the Rachel's English website. You can type the name Rachel's English in your browser or you can type the web address you see here h t t p s colon slash slash r a c h e l s e n g l i s h dot c o m after you enter the name or address you see the rachel's english home page it looks like this you can click on videos here or here. She has many videos to help you with listening to and pronouncing the sounds of American English. Rachel's English is also on YouTube. Maybe you already watch videos on YouTube. Go to the YouTube homepage and type Rachel's English in the search box. Then click Visit Site and you will see many of her videos. They are fun to watch and will help you with American English pronunciation. Another website for listening is Randall's ESL Cyber Listening Lab. The address is www.esl-lab.com. When you type that into your browser, it takes you to this home page. You can see the web page address in the corner. Click on listening activities and see a menu where you can choose easy, intermediate, or difficult. For example, I will click on easy and show you what easy looks like. Here is the easy page. See the word easy? Please be careful where you click on this website. It has many advertisements or ads. Don't click on them. They will take you away from the website to a different place. Look carefully before you click. If you scroll or move down below the ad, you will see the easy listening activities. See all the names? Each one is a different story. I will click on Holiday Traditions to hear a story about holidays. Here's the Holiday Traditions story page. Be careful, an ad says Start Download. Don't click on it. Scroll down under the ad and see the pre-listening exercises. The pre-listening exercise has sentences about holidays. 
Then it has idioms or phrases you will hear in the story. To listen, click the small white arrow. You can click and listen as many times as you want. Maybe you want to practice reading. Here is a website for reading practice. The name is Reading Skills for Today's Adults. The address is www.readingskillsfortoday.com. When you go to this website, you see this home page. You can choose which level reading you want. The easiest are levels one and two, and the most difficult are levels 15 and 16. Let's look at a level one page. Here's the page with the level one stories. You can click the name of the story you want to read. If you click on the story, Joe's Workday, you see this page. You can read the story about Joe's Workday. If you want to listen to the story, you can click on the small white arrow under it here. Another website for listening and reading is Breaking News English. The address is www.breakingnewsenglish.com. Breaking news means current news from around the world. The homepage looks like this. This website also has ads. Don't click on them. Look for the latest news lessons on the left here. Below are the stories you can click to read and listen. Choose different reading levels from level zero to level six. For example, maybe you want to read about the Olympic torch in Japan and you want to try level four. You can click here. Here's the level four story. Don't click on the ads. Click to listen or read the story here. You can also click on other vocabulary and spelling activities to practice the words from the story. Maybe you want to practice everything, listening, speaking, reading, grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation. The English Club website has all of these activities. The address is www.englishclub.com. The home page looks like this. It says English Club at the top. Watch out for lots of ads on this page too. Don't click on them. See where it says learn English? Click on what you want under this grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, listening, speaking. Scroll or go down to see even more. Okay, here's the last website. It's called USA Learns and it has lessons for all the English skills, listening, speaking, reading, writing, grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation. It also has lessons for people who want to study about U.S. citizenship. The address is www.usalearns.org. The home page looks like this. You must click Start Now and create an account with a username and password. Then you can click Sign In and go to the different lessons. This website also has ads, so be careful not to click on them. Okay, let's review. Here are the six websites I showed you. Rachel's English or https colon slash slash rachelsenglish.com Randall's ESL Cyber Listening Lab or www.esl-lab.com 
Reading Skills for Today's Adults or www.readingskillsfortoday.com Breaking News English or www.breakingnewsenglish.com English Club or www.englishclub.com and USA Learns or www.usalearns.org. Remember, you can search for these websites by typing the name or the address. Use what is easier for you. Do you have questions? You can call anyone from Cultural Linguistic Services for help in these languages. If you want to visit the CLS website, the address is hr.wisc.edu slash CLS. On the CLS website, click the online workplace learning page for more English videos and newsletters. Keep practicing English.